good morning or whenever you're watching this video welcome to yoga with kathy today we are doing a little mobility for our morning to wake up and to get all those cricks and uh, tightness out of our joints um i do highly recommend that you have a couple of blocks with you i'll link these to um the description below i got these off of amazon and honestly you can get these or you can get the foam blocks these are cork um, but any blocks will do and honestly you could use anything that is sturdy that will support you uh, like a chair or pillows um, as long as it's sturdy I hope that you have fun I hope that you listen to your body and um, let me know how you like this video so that I can create more like it in the comments below make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and share it if you want more people to do yoga with us here on this platform thank you so much if you've already subscribed if you haven't that would mean so much to me and with all that being said I'm gonna let you go to the video to set your intention and to start your morning right <laughs> thank you floating at Kathy let's go ahead and bring our hands to our heart to our chest to create our intention our intention today is to flow with ease grace and mobility let's bring our hands to our knees take a deep breath exhale leaning forward and we're just creating nice big circles here I love these in the morning or after a long day of work and sitting because it really introduces some nice movement into the body and into the spine now we're going to do one more big circle and we're going to hit the uno reverse going in the opposite direction here nice big circles and let's create one more here very nice now we're going to drop our chin down towards our chest keeping our spine nice and long we're gonna bring our head over towards our ears and we're gonna create some movement in our neck now let's be very careful here because our necks carry our beautiful brains and so it may be del delicate so just treat your body right hitting the uno reverse here feel free to stay and linger and give some extra TLC to any areas that might need a little bit more time. Very nice. Let's inhale nice and long spine. Let's bring our hand up and bring it over to the opposite knee. Our opposite arm is going to reach over, getting a nice stretch in the body here. And let's switch. Inhale up. Exhale over. Very nice. We're going to bring our knees up and we're going to create 90 90 with our knees. And we have options here so we can bring our hands behind us and allow our knees to come to the left and to the right here, just like I'm doing. Or bring our hands to the front of our bodies and allow our knees to go left and right and find our balance I'm laughing here because I'm trying to stay in frame and then lastly push your hips up if it's available to you now choose the option that best works for you and your body today it's gonna feel different every day so just be kind Make sure to push those hips forward if this is the option that you've decided to take. Now I'm going to come into a tabletop and I'm going to make sure that everything is aligned. And come into my cat cows, I inhale looking up, exhale curling in, inhaling and exhaling. Very nice. Now. I'm going to push my shoulders 
I'll push my palms into the mat and allow my shoulders to pop up and come down with control here. So I'm pushing and releasing. Pushing and releasing here. Now the work is coming from my shoulders, not from my neck here. And then slowly I'm going to allow myself to push back and come into a downward dog and pedal it out, bring one knee into the chest and then the other. Lifting up my left leg, bending the knee and creating nice big circles with that leg here. Reverse in the opposite direction. And switch. Lift open up the hip nice big circles here and reverse remember to breathe now here I'm just going to walk my feet up towards the top of the mat inhale flat back exhale forward fold and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae arms up Nice big stretch here, hands down towards the chest. Now I'm going to lift my leg up and I'm going to try to create a 90 degree angle here. I'm trying to bring my uh, thigh parallel to the floor. And I'm just going to lift and tap for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one I'm gonna open up that knee here take a couple of breaths bring it back to the center open it up back to the center one more time open and back to center I'm gonna cross it over the Left leg here, hands to my hips, nice long spine. And on the exhale, I'm just going to hinge from the hips, forward fold. Now you can use your blocks here if you have them available. If your hands don't come all the way down to the floor. And let's make our way up. Release. And I'm turning so that I can show you what it looks like on the other side. Opposite leg. Here we go. Hold in that core. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Open up that knee, opening up that hip here. Back to center. And open. Back to center and open and you can use the other hand to find your balance on the wall or on a chair let's cross over inhale long spine and forward fold again bring your hands to a chair your blocks whatever prop you're using here today and let's make our way up arms up palms together down to heart center and release arms up forward fold step back coming into a plank here coming down halfway and then lifting up into our upward facing dog and push back downward facing dog Let's go ahead and bring that right knee into the chest and then between the palms. Inhaling, coming up into a high lunge, bending those elbows, opening up the heart. We're gonna keep a flat back, keep those cactus arms and lean forward, reach those arms back and up, lift all the way up. Exhale to bend those elbows, opening up the heart, coming down. With a flat back, we inhale, arms up, open up, bend those elbows, open up the heart. Flat back, forward, and inhale, lift, 
and open up. Cartwheel those arms into a warrior two. I'm gonna reach my hand forward and open up. What I'm doing is that I'm pressing that hand across the arm, across the chest, and all the way up, creating some mobility here in our shoulders, in our spine. Dropping that right elbow, lifting that um, right arm, and circling all the way right around. Dropping the elbow, coming all the way around. Warrior two, one more time. Reach, come all the way around. Warrior two. Now I'm gonna lengthen that front leg, reach, drop that hand on top of a block, which I'm going to get to show you what it would look like. Here it is. Hand on that block, lengthen that leg, reach that arm. Or you can hold it onto your shin or the floor. It depends on where your body is today. Now I'm going to either keep my hands on the blocks or I'm going to drop my hands onto the floor. Wherever I am, I'm going to Close the gap between my legs and I'm going to fold forward on top of that right leg here. I'm just moving the block out of the way. Stepping back, plank, lower down halfway, lift up, and push back. Downward dog. Now let's try the same thing on the opposite side. This time bringing the left leg forward. We inhale, arms up in that high lunge. Bend those elbows, open with the heart. Keeping those arms in the cactus formation. We're going to push back, lift up. Bend those elbows, open the heart. Coming back into the cactus, forward fold almost. Here we go, inhale, arms up. Bend those elbows. Remember to breathe. Oh, almost forgot. To lift those arms up. Lift all the way up here through my uh, high lunge. Bending those elbows. And release. I had to get up here to get into my order too because I wanted to face you. As I close up and press against my palms, my arms, my chest, bringing my hand all the way across here. Press all the way through. Very nice. Let's drop that elbow. Lift the arm here. Circle all the way around, warrior two. Two more times, just like that. We drop the elbow, lift all the way around. Warrior two. Last one. Drop that elbow. Bring that arm all the way around. Warrior two. Now we're gonna lengthen, reach. Go ahead and use your chair, use your shin, use the floor, blocks, and come into your trikonasana here. And I'm gonna release onto my chair, onto my blocks. Close the gap between the legs here. Inhale, long spine, and exhaling over the leg here. I'm going to swing to the other side, but what you are going to do is just step back, bend those elbows, inhale to come up, and push back into our child's pose here. I'm rocking my hips left and right here. I'm taking a couple of breaths in my child's pose. Slowly making our way up into a seat. We inhale, arms up and down to heart center. One more time. Down to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time.